Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about this preset here called Comp Guitar, and it's available on my Patreon with the uh, lowest tier. So you need to subscribe with the maybe one buck and then you get this. Um, so this just as a disclaimer, and this is how it sounds. Maybe some lower octaves. So it sounds like an acoustic guitar. Um, I based this patch uh, roughly on my recent video about using physical modeling with the polymer synthesizer. And I flash this a bit out here with remote control so you can change the sound. So we have here the tonality remote. Which changes of course the tonality of the sound. And you can modulate this here maybe with a random modulator or with some step mods to change it over time. Maybe make it react to your MPE controller or maybe uh, to velocity or the mod wheel. Then we have a decay, and decay is not the uh, envelope decay of the amp of the sound itself. It's it's the decay time of the impulse going into the comp filter. So you can change the sound here also drastically. So in this position, it's more thin. And the more decay you bring in, um, the more thicker the sound is, and uh, I think the sweet spot is around here. Okay, so then we have here the pitch mod, which of course uh, yeah, brings in some wobble, some pitch wobble. So this is completely a straight note. And then pitch mod modulates this. And this is also available on the mod wheel. So you can just use the mod wheel of your keyboard and then uh, bring in pitch mod every time you want to. Then we have this broken thing here, which brings in a bit of dissonance. So this is a super clean guitar sound here. At this position here, it's completely dissonant. Or it sounds a bit broken. So you can also use maybe here velocity for that to bring in a bit of dissonance from time to time, just to make it more realistic, right? And um, then we have here the knobs for the impulse responses. And I have here the first one, which is body. So when I dial this out, it sounds completely synthesized. And then I bring in here um, the body sound or the body body frequencies of a guitar body itself to amplify the right um, resonances. Then we have here a wooden attic sound uh, or impulse response. So it sounds more like you play the guitar in a in a real room. So now we have basically, or it sounds like the microphone is pretty close to the guitar itself. And if you move the slider to the right, it sounds like um, the guitar player is moving away from the mic more further into the room. It sounds like someone is playing further away from the microphone. So. For me, the sweet spot is here around 50%. And then we have here some space reverb if you want to, you know, use it for your ambient session or something like this. So you can bring in here some. Of 
course you can go here into the FX box and can trigger it a bit further. Maybe you can dampen here, for instance, the guitar body sound with the, um, with the stilt EQ. So the guitar sound becomes more brighter or a bit more darker, a bit softer. Um, then we have what else? Of course, you can change here the reverb uh, itself. It's basically a reverb thing here. And then we have here some um, some delay plus action with a space uh, diffusion algorithm here. So it's, it sounds a bit more spacey. Maybe you want to remove here some of the higher frequencies. Maybe something like this. I think this is better. Let's let's use this as default. And um, also, you can now use. Let's dial this back. You can now use some of the amp presets here of Bitwig Studio to simulate more like E guitar sounds. So this is uh, something you can do. Uh, maybe use a different preset here. And there are a lot of presets actually in the library. Um, this one. So you can even make some kind of e-guitar sounds with this. Even the drone, drone preset here, nice. Um, clean Leslie, let's try this one. So you have a lot of possibilities you can try out in Bitwig Studio itself, um, just with this preset. Also interesting is that this one is polyphonic. So um, you can use chords, multi-note here, maybe dial in a minor chord. Um, something like this. And then use the, the strum device here. Maybe use two steps, one up, one down. quantizer after this. So you can also um, experiment with um, MIDI FX or Node FX actually, that's how it's called. And yeah, have some fun with it. So this is available on my Patreon, like I said in the beginning, um, it's just one buck. So you subscribe at one buck for maybe a, a month and then you can uh, just download this and all the other presets um, that are also available on this tier. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Um, subscribe to the channel and head over to my Patreon and download this thing here, right? Thanks for watching and bye.